Hi everybody, welcome to the video surprise of the day. Today I'm going to show you my new Samsung. I'm going to actually turn it on and configure the basics on it. So first of all, when you turn on the, the remote and put the batteries in this remote in particular, you're going to get the menu screen. The menu screen, first of all, will show what kind of language you need to be set up as. So basically, of course, I'm going to set in this case English. Then I hit the select key, like a return key, which is in the middle, by the way, it's in the middle of the remote. Yeah, you still see that. It's hard to see. All right. Hit the middle and start. TV aspect and network will be set. Each setting will change under settings. Hit the return again in the middle button. Let me show you the middle button because I'm sure there's going to be some questions on this one. It's right here. This one, okay? That's the middle button. The middle button is over here. That's the return button. On top of, you go up to here. All right. Okay, it's going to tell you what kind of screen size you initially want to set it up as. Um, we're going to do a full screen. Select when connecting to a 16 by 9 TV screen. All content. All content will be filled full screen. Content formatted in 4x3 four by four, uh, four by three will be stretched. Or you could select original. It really depends. You can go back and forth and change it later on. It's not like stuck in that mode forever. Hit enter. Uh, probably want to set up the network. I'm going to do that later. Okay, folks. Uh, after you find all your keys to enter all your password, pretty long process for me because I keep on typing the wall. Then you go down to done, then it's going to connect to your network. So checking your network and your SSID uh, will connect. So when it's successful, you see this message. You hit the OK button. There you go. So that's how you get your system connected. Of course, um, it may take some time, so be patient. So that's how you set up the, the Blu-ray player on the Samsung. Um, you know, you can add photos and do other services as well here, uh, like uh, look at YouTube and etc. There are also different features you can use to navigate down. You can change your settings or anything like that in particular to your, your TV, your audio, your network your system, the different languages, security, parental control is supported, you have a PIN number you can add in. There's also a general time zone you can add in as well, and there's also support for uh, new software upgrades, which is a plus. And of course, you also reset your system at the same time. So hit the return key on the remote, then you go back to this menu. You also Okay, folks, one other thing I want to mention on the settings before I exit. I just recall that the general, there's a time zone setting. If you go to the general on the settings, you can set your time zone. In my case, it's in the west coast, so it's GMT minus 8. That's where it is. The safe one to save it. That's an important one. You could go through the other video parts yourself. Okay, I'm going to continue. So that's how you set up the Blu-ray player on the Samsung. I'm I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. Bye.